Yeah, thanks, Carol. Well, when fans come back to Nationals Park after the Midsummer Classic, things are going to look a little different around here, but for great reason. The Nats very much on the forefront of this. They are going to put in, put in protective netting that will extend all the way around the right to the left field corners. Now, obviously, they're very passionate about this. They want fans to enjoy their experience here at the ballpark, but as Adam Eaton put it, it's also all about being safe. The fans, I think, you know, fans are most important in this game. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, they'll have to look through the netting, but I think safety is number one priority. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, we got to look out for our fans. So you just, like I said, have to make an adjustment whether they're distracted or not or they're looking away or not or they don't have a glove or not or, or um, you know, it's 110 uh, with side spin coming in and, and you don't see it to the last second. Um, there's a lot of variables, but um, like I said, we want to make sure they're protected and uh, um, hopefully they don't go cross-eyed or they're going to, you know, looking through the fence is going to be difficult. But again, we want to make sure they're safe. Nationals principal owner Mark Lerner wrote this letter to Nats fans earlier this week. Additional protective netting will be installed at Nationals Park during the All-Star break. Ultra Cross Knotless Dyneema protective netting will be installed, replacing the existing netting and extend to just sh short of the right and left field corners. Knotless netting offers a higher degree of transparency than the traditional knotted netting. The netting will be designed so that certain sections over each dugout can be raised pre-game to foster fan interaction actions with the players over the last few weeks we have seen several fans injured by bats and balls leaving the field of play at other stadiums i could not help but get emotional last month watching the astros cubs game when a four-year-old little girl was hit by a line drive i can't imagine what her parents must have felt in that moment and to see the raw emotion and concern from albert almara jr was heartbreaking Further extending the netting at Nationals Park will provide additional protective protection for our fans. If you are concerned about this change or have other questions, you can always reach a member of our service team by calling 202-675-NATS, which is 6287, or by emailing service at nationals.com. And the Chicago White Sox, the other team going to put this in place, but it will be interesting to see if the other 28 MLB teams will start to follow suit and add in additional protective netting.